Welcome back to Castcast. More Doki Doki. We've written our first poem. Hi what? again, teacher. And that. Glad to see you didn't run away on us. Ha ha ha. Kill me. <laughs> Kill me. Kill me now. Nah, don't worry. This might be a little strange for me, but I at least keep my word. I wrote the shittest poem <laughs> you have ever I seen. Wrote the shit out it's of about my poem. emails yeah. and essence and Suicide. And suicide, depression, happiness. Oh, no, you know what it is? It's a poem about one of those chain emails that he didn't forward. <laughs> and it, and then it made him com- commit suicide. Well, I'm back at the literature club. I was the last to come in, so everyone else is already hanging out. Like douchebags. Thanks for keeping your promise, teacher. I hope this isn't too overwhelming of a commitment for you. All commitment is overwhelming for me. Making you dive headfirst into literature when you're not accustomed to it. Oh, come on. Like, he deserves any slack. Sayori told me you didn't even want to join any clubs this year. Still don't. And last year, too. Still don't. I don't know if you plan to just come here and hang out or what. Clubs. If you don't take us seriously, then you won't see the end of it. Natsuki, you certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. What has that got to do with anything? Like, is, do they mean, like, I think they're hentai? paying out manga. I think they're paying out oh, manga. Oh, they're all fucking dead. And saying it's, like, it's not really reading. Ah, oh, so they're all dead to me. Mmm! <laughs> Mm-mm. M&M's! M-m-m-m-m. Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and Manga. Manga is literature! Swiftly defeated, Natsuki plops back into her seat. Don't worry, guys. Teacher always gives his best as long as he's having fun. No, good God. He helps me with busy work without me even asking. Like cooking, cleaning my room. How dependable... Sayori, that's because your room is always so messy, it's distracting. And you o- almost set your house on fire once. Oh, shit. Is that so? Uh, you two are really good friends, aren't you? I might be a little jealous. I don't know. How come? You and Teacher become good friends, too? Oh, yeah. Everyone's banging Teacher. Um... Sayori. Hmm? Hmm? What? As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation you just put me into. Oh, oh. Yuri even brought you something today, you know? Wait, Sayori? Uh, me? Uh. Um, not really. Don't be shy. Show him your boobs! It's really nothing. What is it? Uh, never mind. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. Uh, what do I do? Eh, I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue this situation. Hey, don't worry about it. First of all, I wasn't expecting anything in the first place. So any nice gesture from you is a pleasant gesture? surprise. Gesture? Gesture? Well, uh, whatever. I guess... It's my accent. Jura yeah. will have to see what she brought us. It is a gesture. Because it's a guess. Mm-hmm. It'll make me happy no matter what. Is that so? Yeah, I won't make it a big deal if you don't want it to be. Alright. You get nothing. Mm. I won't bring it. Well, here. Yuri reaches into her bag and pulls out a book. Bow, bow. I didn't want you to feel left out, so I got you this thing with words. To make you feel left out? It's a short read, so it should keep your... T- Are you saying I'm fucking retarded, bitch? Wow, that's a backhanded... <laughs> A little comment there. <laughs> it should keep your attention, retard. Yuri gets backhanded into the wall. The literature club now has one less member. And we could, you know, discuss it if you wanted. No. Oh. I'm meant to be the teacher. You know what I'm she teacher. Wants. I'm teacher. How is this girl accidentally being so cute? Oh, it's not accidental. She even picked out a book she thinks I'll like, despite me not reading much. Yuri, thank you. I'll definitely read this. Maybe. 
I enthusiastically take the book. And throw like, it in the trash. How do you enthusiastically take a book? Do you, like, snatch it off and, yeah. like, beat your head against it? Like, oh, my God, a book! Yeah, you just totally grab it and... Wait. I don't know. Phew. Well, you can read it at your own pace. Again, with the thinking I'm retarded. Yeah. I look forward to hearing what you think in 12 years. Take your time, there's lots of pictures. Now that everyone's settled in, I expected Monica to kick off some scheduled activities for the... Like, it's a reading club. What's the scheduled activities? Read? Now we all read. But that doesn't seem to be the case. Ciari and Monica are having a cheery conversation in the corner. Yuri's face is already buried in a book. I can't help but notice her intense expression, like she was waiting for this chance to read. Meanwhile, Natsuki is rummaging around in the closet. Uh, okay. Man. Man. It looks like no one wants to be bothered today. I slump down into the nearest desk. How am I supposed to occupy, uh, occupy myself with something literature? Uh, I need help reading. Something this is why literature she I'm retired. related by myself. Like this. I guess I could always read some of the book Yuri gave me. But I'm feeling a little too tired to read. Words are big. Yeah. I could probably Words fall asleep right. Words are hard. Right. What's that from? Uh, nothing, I don't think. No, I swear it's from something. No? Oh, whatever. I close my eyes and end up listening to Sayari's conversation with Monica. We're probably gonna seem really lame compared to all the other clubs, though. Hmm. Well, we can't give up. The festival is our chance to show everyone what literature is all about. It's about reading. The problem is that the idea of a literature club sounds too dense and intellectual. It doesn't. But it's not like that at all, you know? We just need a way of showing that to everyone. Over six installments. For nine ninety nine, Something that speaks to their creative minds. Hmm. That doesn't solve the problem, though. Eh? What do you mean? Even if we come up with the most fun thing ever, nobody will come in the first place. It's a literature event. So it's more important to figure out how to get people to show up in the first place, you know? And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to their creative minds. What? We can do the thing to speak... I guess the thing they come up with to appeal to the creative Like, I thought minds. I was reading that wrong. Yeah, no. And after they come, we can do the thing to speak to the... Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is she talking yeah. about? <laughs> yeah. What? Sayori <laughs> is taking this really seriously. She's not even stringing sentences together. <laughs> it's rare to hear her deliberating like this. Huh? That's a good point. In that case, do you think food will do the trick? What kind? Uh... Well, I guess we could... Cupcakes. <laughs> uh, uh-huh. Uh, Good thinking. Natsuki would love to do that. Ah, uh, you're right. Natsuki makes the best cupcakes. <laughs> Fucking hate it. That works out perfectly, like always. <laughs> That's... That wasn't why you suggested it. Cup... What? Cupcakes speak to my creative tummy. Aww. Uh -huh. Does she have like really bad diarrhea on cupcakes? Yeah. Is that what she's talking about? I don't think that's what she's saying. Cupcakes it is then. I'm hungry. Anyway, we still need to work out the details of the event itself. I find myself smiling. In the end, Sarah is still her usual self. But therein lies the unexpected reason I admire her. Unlike me, who has trouble finding any motivation at all, because I'm dead inside. Sarah can put her mind to things and make them come to life. I suppose that's why I ended up letting her get on my case about things. I can't help but wonder what I would like to see the world with through her eyes. Whoop! Well, there she is! My eyes! <laughs> <laughs> I open my eyes to find Sarah's face filling my vision. I nearly fall out of my chair. I don't, but I nearly do. Uh, sorry. Wait. Actually, I'm not sorry at all. It's your fault for sleeping like that. This isn't the napping club. <laughs> Does our school have a napping club? 
You're staying up late again, aren't you? Now that you're in the club, you're gonna have less time for anime, you know. You'll need to get used to it. Fucking bitch! I'm gonna go home and watch some anime! I'm gonna watch some anime. Don't say that so loud. I glance over my shoulder to see if Monica overheard. It's true, though. Yeah? I know, I know. You're always looking out for me, Sayori. But stay away from my fucking anime. <laughs> Uh -huh. Don't say another word about my anime. That's what I do best. That's a problem. What about you? You look out for me better than you look out for yourself. You're still oversleeping every day, aren't you? Eh, uh, not every day. That's not very convincing. How many days p this past week have you gotten up on time? That's... That's a secret. I knew it! Seven. Come on. <laughs> At least give me the benefit of the doubt. I can't even do that. Look, Sari, it's written all over your face. Seven. <laughs> uh. Seven. Sari glances round at herself. How do you glance around at yourself? I, I have no idea. The room was filled with mirrors. How is it written all over me? You were clearly in a rush this morning. Look, your hair is sticking out all around here. Aww. Uh, He's up. I run my fingertips down the side of Sarah's hair, trying to straighten it out. But I end up getting erect. I'm grabbing your boob. <laughs> Man, you really need a brush for this. My hair is just really hard to get it right. I won't fall for that. There's more than just your hair. Look, your bow isn't straight either. That's part of my hair, asshole. <laughs> And there's toothpaste stained on your collar right here. That's not toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> I try to. <laughs> <laughs> I try to wipe off the stain with my finger. But nobody would ever notice that. Of course they would. Nobody's gonna tell you about it because they don't want to embarrass you. Fortunately, I really care about that. Don't really care about that. Oh, Stop. Jesus, what a. Oh. Hey, you meanie. And you don't even keep your blazer buttoned up. You just have all this cleavage showing yeah. and shit. Oh, your boobies. Seriously, Sayori. Boobs. Nah, that's not how that works. Why do you think you don't have a boyfriend yet? Huh? Eh, that's super mean. Sorry, but you'll thank me later. Jesus. And stop halfway and just... Yeah, can we settle down Motorboat boat with her the... to death. Once you see how much better it looks, you'll change your mind. Whoa, hello! Nice. Nice shot indeed. Uh, this is so funny. What is? Well, I was just thinking how weird it is to have a friend who does these kind of things. Uh, don't say that. You'll make me feel weird about it, stupid. It's no. okay, though. You're making me feel weird. I'm happy we're like this. I guess. Uh. I guess. Oh, someone said I guess. Hey, be careful. That button might come off. Why is this? Oh. This is right near your boobies. Why is this one so hard to close? <laughs> yep. I struggle to fully close the button near her chest. Does this thing even fit you properly? Yeah, it did when I bought it. Sigh. If you ever buttoned it, you would not have noticed sooner that it doesn't fit you anymore. What are you smiling about? You're touching my boobs. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it means my boobs got bigger again. Ah. Uh, don't say that out loud. Uh, anyways, you look much better now, so... Uh, Why does it feel so strange to see Sayori's blazer buttoned up like this? Like that. Because like this. he doesn't button it up, he just said so. But it's so stuffy. Uh, it's not worth it at all. Sayori hastily unbuttons her blazer once more. She's got like six vests on yeah. her shirt. And like, that's I think she's horrible. fine. Phew. That's so much better. Sayori puts her arms out and twirls around. 
So if I keep it unbuttoned, then I won't get a boyfriend, right? No, that's not how that works. What kind of logic is that? Yours, you just said. Yeah. <laughs> and why are you saying that like it's a good thing? Because... If I had a boyfriend, then he wouldn't even let you do things like this. And you'd take care of me better than anyone else would, anyway. So that's why I'm keeping it unbuttoned. Stop saying those embarrassing things. Eh. I didn't say anything embarrassing. Jeez. Well, anyway, just focus on trying to wake up a little earlier. Only if you focus on going to bed earlier. Fine, fine. Deal? It's a deal. Nah. <laughs> I guess we really are better at taking care of each other than we are taking care of ourselves. Yeah, I guess so, huh? So maybe you could come wake me up in the morning. You're doing it again, Sayori. Uh, but I was joking that time. Man, it's impossible to tell with you sometimes. You're a monotone asshole. Yeah. Emote, damn it. <laughs> Emote. Okay, everyone. Yeah. Monica suddenly calls out. Why don't we share the poems we wrote now? Let's face it, this is what I've been waiting for. Yep, here it comes. <laughs> Your poem's really dark, then really happy, then about emails. <laughs> what? <laughs> Teacher, I can't wait to read yours. Yay. <laughs> yeah, same. It's gonna be a fucking shit show. <laughs> I failed to sound enthusiastic, but Sayori still trots away to retrieve her poem. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Yeah, it's shit. <laughs> My relaxation ends. I can't believe I agreed to do something so embarrassing. I couldn't really find much inspiration since I've never really done this before. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait. Ease up. Pull out their junk dunks. Sorry's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. What are these things? I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Alright. Who are we showing our poem to first? Yuri seems the most experienced, so I should start with her. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. To be sure, to be sure. Hmm? Yuri stares at the poem. A minute passes, more than enough time for her to finish reading. Um, this is shit. <laughs> this is awful. Oh, sorry. I forgot to start speak. I've done Bless. it before. Um, it's fine. Don't force yourself. Words are hard. Yeah. I'm not. I just need to put my thoughts into words. Hold on. My words into thoughts. Okay. This is your first time writing a poem, right? Uh, yeah. Why do you ask? I'm just making sure. I guess that it might be after... That... I guess that it might be after reading through it. Ah, so it's that bad. No. Did I just raise my voice? Uh, I'm so sorry. Yuri bears her face in her hands. I couldn't help but notice that it's been several minutes and we really haven't really gotten anywhere. It might take Yuri a while to get used to new people. It's fine. I really didn't notice. What were you saying? Right. Um, it's just that there are specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. Like writing about emails. Yeah. That was stupid. <laughs> Having been through that myself, I kind of learned to pick up on them. I think the most noticeable thing I recognize as new writers is that they try to make their style very deliberate. In other words, they tend to pick a writing style separate from the topic matters. And they form fit the, I don't know what any of this means. <laughs> the end result is that both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. Once Yuri finds her train of thought, it's as if her demeanor totally changes. She's fucking lecturing me. Yeah. Her stammering is completely gone, and she sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are so many different skills and techniques that go into writing even a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. 
It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice, and learning by example, and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. Natsuki can be a little biased, though. Biased? How? Um, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. It's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself, to me, or to Natsuki. Or to the Seven Gods. Or all three. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, as if that's a rare opportunity for her. Which itself is kind of funny. After all, isn't this supposed to be the literature club? Alright. Ghost under the light. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining street light to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bet. Is that... I yep, bathe. I yeah. bathe. I bathe calms, breathing air of the present, but living in the past. The light flickers. Flickers. Flicker. Okay, like, it's terrible. It's a curse of all. I flicker back. Alright. End of poem. Click outside the poem area to continue. I'm sorry, I have such terrible... Yep. <laughs> what? I could hardly read it. But I look, love your poem about flickening. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Your handwriting's beautiful. <laughs> uh, that's just me being retarded, though. Yeah. I don't read cursive. Who does? Me. Everyone. No, no one. But it took you a long time to read. I'm a bit slow. Uh, also, you wrote in fucking cursive. Well, I just don't read script very... There yeah. Okay. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. Pretty. Err. Uh, that's a relief. Also, I like the poem. No, also, I like the poem. Even though it's short, it was really descriptive. About flickering. It wasn't too short. You're the one giving me advice, yeah. bro. Why are you questioning? We have no idea. I usually write longer poems. Not at all. I'm really glad you liked it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, I wanted to write something a little more mild. Something easy to- Oh my god. Stop thinking I'm retarded. Yeah. Something with pictures. Are you into ghosts, Yuri? Who? Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all, teacher. Really? I must have totally missed the point. Yeah. Well, I suppose you did only glance over it after all. She just said I took a really long time. Yeah, by glancing over it. <sighs> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They're not going to express other people's. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. Would you like me to paint you a picture? Would that be easier? <laughs> Is that easier than words? Is this... In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared to a ghost. Lingering in her last remaining place of comfort, unable to let go of the past. And soon to be left with nothing. Like this episode. Next time on Cast Cast. That's a lot more solemn way of putting it. <laughs> I try. <laughs>